Hello people. Um, here's two Violet Ray machines that I'm going to be putting on eBay for sale. Now this is an earlier one, this is 1930s. And I'm saying this must be late 30s, I would have thought. Um, this is by far the more collectible one. It's a little bit rarer and certainly in these colours. Uh, certainly in this nice um, proper wooden box. This is uh, like a motor cloth covered uh, on wood. And as you can see, it's it's not as pretty. But yep, still fully functioning Soul Town version. It's nice that they've both got the uh, little manuals. So if you're new to these things, uh, the high frequency, high voltage, low current, basically a Tesla coil. So inside there you've got a spark gap device that oscillates and you can vary the oscillations which is varies the frequency um, this one set at very different voltages this one you can't go into 110 unless you unscrew that and go the other way so it's set on 240 so these things have one inherent problem if you buy one off ebay um, that hasn't been restored is Inside they have a large capacitor now these large capacitors are subject to leakage Effectively what happens they short circuit not only that The wires of these older devices are all knackered literally electrically almost touching all the way along because of the compounds They used to make the wires with So th these ones I mean you can see the this unbelievable example this is Bakelite it's like absolutely brand new. Anyway, it's got a new cable, new attachments, heat shrink, UK plug, fused. Now these are non-earth devices. Even though there's three pins on there, it's only two. And these are non-earthed, so be aware of that. Not that it changes anything, it's just they're non-earthed. Same as this one. So the capacitors that came out of these, which have been replaced, are uh, here. That's a little pole capacitor. And this one was this one. So, it, just as a matter of fact, out of interest, these CAN capacitors actually can last a very, very long time. Now, this one, we shall use, if you, I don't know if you look at Mr. Carlson's lab on YouTube, um, he used the designer of these amazing circuits. Um, I built these off his plans. So this is a capacitor tester. It's also a forecasting capacitor tester, which will tell you if the capacitor will break down at some point in the future. So if we wanted to give this a little test, we'll put that onto, this is not an electrolytic capacitor. It's, uh, it's non-polarized So it's gone immediately to red. Now because they're fairly chunky capacitors, it takes a minute or two to charge it up with the 27 volts coming out supplied. And it says it's okay. Well, that's a, a primary test. So if we were to put it onto forecast, discharge it first. Now give it a test. Absolutely okay. That's the thing about these guys. People actually search for these on eBay and use them in uh, audio amplifiers and things because they are, well, they look nice, but they're actually still very good. So in, the, in the, these two instances, both the big can capacitors are actually okay. So that's very surprising. Hence this one. See how quickly that one went to red, from green, to green to red, I should say. So turn it off, discharge it, have another go. That's a very healthy capacitor. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So anyway, I took them out and I replaced them regardless with new poly capacitors. 
Now, new poly capacitors um, look a bit like this. And they will last a very long time. And they are seriously under stressed. Uh, the working voltages are much higher than the original cam ones. Um, yes, so, so it's just a matter of course. These things have to have the capacitors changed. The, oscill the um, oscillating device needs to be looked at to make sure that it's not arced shut, etc, etc. So anyway, enough about all that. This is very interesting. This is a lovely little original book. 72% blindness cured. That's, <laughs> that's some statement. These things are just so amusing. And some of the electrodes that you can get for them, it's just, I mean, my God, something that you're supposed to stick inside yourself. I mean, you're not going to stick a glass tube inside yourself, surely. <laughs> it's absolutely nuts. But what a lot of fun. I mean, um, these are just crazy things. The earlier the, 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 um, unit the more claims they made these got outlawed in the end of course because it's you know the claims they were making actually that's first of april 1937 so there's a date here's a list of electrodes it's nice to have that paperwork with it it kind of makes it complete there's a sort of an address of the original owner there i think so this is a british made Type HM, universal voltage, telephone number, 10060, ideal home electrical appliance is limited. Amazing. So, instead of um, talking, you want to see it in action. Let's plug this one in first. Now, I have a current controlled power supply, which um, is... Yeah, an absolute must. If you're plugging any old appliance in, I can make sure that there's non-lethal, nothing, nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen to the unit. Nothing's going to happen to me going through this system. But now, obviously, this has been restored. So I don't need to plug it into that anymore. So just make sure it's turned down. That in, make sure it's turned off. Now, just as an example, let's use this. I think they describe this as a throat wand. Right, let's turn it on. Nothing at the moment because it's turned right down. You can, now you can hear that's so the spark gap, so it's starting to oscillate. There's nothing being really produced at the moment, so we're just doing it up. So that noise is perfectly normal. Now you can hear it. And the first thing I can notice, I can smell ozone. To turn it up, you might be able to see it starting to do its namesake. Turn it up even more. Now you can see why it's called a violet ray. So that's full speed now, with full power. So this is a violet ray. So these tubes are filled with um, argon. You can actually get these tubes that are filled with neon and they glow orange, not purple. So if you ever turn one of these things on, that's, that is okay. This noise is normal. That's, the, that's it in operation. So I'll turn that off. I think some of the pictures I've taken that I'm going to be putting on eBay, I've shown the actual, the violet ray quite well in the photos. So all those, there's eyelid ones and other sorts, there's a hair comb one, there's an eye eye one, gosh. So this one, it's got a slightly different internals. Um, Definitely cottage industry, the way it's made. It's beautiful, actually. I should have taken a picture of it inside, but um, I didn't. 
Let's just move this along here. Plug it in. Very rarely do people ever get to smell ozone. It's an unusual smell and uh, not unpleasant. But if you've been in a big electrical storm, you can smell it. It's produced by the lightning and what have you. But the these things produce it, you know, by the bucket load. And you can actually get, there are actually some ones which um, they suggest you put up your nose and, and smell it. And it's like, that's just ridiculous. But anyway, so we turn this down. Make sure it's on 240. Okay. No sound, as you'd expect. Let's get it oscillator working. Have I turned it off? No, nope. my mistake. That's off as well. That's off. So that's 240, right. Hopefully you can see the violet. This might actually interfere with the camera. I'm hoping it won't, but... And there's a lot of sparks jumping between my fingers there. I don't know if you can see that. You turn it right down, which is far more pleasant. So that's it, really. And that's the that's just backing it off. Virtually not working at all. There it is. So uh, I don't think there's anything else to say about these really. Um, these don't come with any guarantees. Obviously, this is old. This is second hand. The, thing, the essential things have been done, the cables have been changed for modern cables, the capacitors have been changed just because it's the right thing to do. The actual Tesla coil inside each one of these is in reasonable, if not perfect condition actually. Um, I don't think either of them have seen, these have seen too much work. I've seen these things where the coils are burned out from prolonged use. You're not supposed to have these things on for more than four or five minutes anyway, and it looks like these two units have just seen very little work. Anyway, happy bidding.